Homelessness can cause a person to walk down the wrong path to make ends meet. It would thus come as no surprise that homelessness can increase a person's chances to be addicted to the wrong things in life. American songwriter Siesha Mercado rightly said, Before you ignore another homeless person on the street, just remember that that could be someone's father or someone's mother and they have a story. And this is just one of over 150 million stories in this world. This is the story of a 52-year-old man called Tyler Thomas and his conscience for doing the right thing even when all odds were stacked against him. Thomas wasn't always homeless. He had a house, a loving wife, and two sons he called the family. Soon after his wife passed away, the son sold the house, and the rest is history. On a cold winter morning, a shivering Thomas sat in an alley, away from judging eyes, when a kind young woman walked up to him with a hot cup of coffee and a fresh loaf of bread in a Christmas paper bag. Faith Fraser had seen the old man shivering and couldn't resist buying him a hot beverage to help him pull through the day. Thomas was naturally delighted as she handed over the food to him, but that was it all. She scribbled something on a tiny piece of paper, gave it to him, and put some money in his cup before saying goodbye. As soon as she was about to turn the corner, Thomas asked for her name and thanked her for her kindness. Faith, he uttered. What a beautiful name for the kind young woman, he thought. But when he read what was written on the Christmas paper back, he chuckled. Christmas miracles do happen. So many years had passed, so many Christmases on the street. Then he remembered the note Faith had given him. When he opened it, it read what goes around, comes around. With a smile on his face, Thomas began eating his food, and that's when he noticed a diamond ring inside his cup. Hot coffee in one hand and the ring in the other, Thomas didn't know what hit him. It was too late for him to call out to Faith, but that didn't stop him from looking for her nearby. He knew it belonged to Faith, but how would he return it? He didn't know where she worked, or what her last name was all he knew is what she had told him. I work nearby, but nearby was limitless for Thomas. That day he spent every minute looking for Faith but failed. Tired and frustrated, he looked up and saw a pawn shop, and without further delay, he entered to ask the pawnbroker about the ring. Can you tell me how much this ring would fetch me? Asked Thomas. Let's just say, if Thomas wanted to spend half a year indoors, all he had to do was part with the ring. No, thank you. I have changed my mind, said Thomas as he took the ring and left the pawn shop. He wanted to return it to Faith because after all, what goes around comes around, right? The next afternoon, Thomas came across a small boutique and casually asked for Faith. And to his surprise, the kind young woman greeted him with a smile on her face. He could see that she looked distressed, and when he asked her what had upset her, she broke into tears. She told him all about her late mother's wedding ring that she had misplaced. With a smile on his face, Thomas reminded her of her note and gave her the ring, telling her all about his journey. But how does this change the homeless man's life? You see, after he left, Faith set up a GoFundMe page for Thomas telling the world what the kind man had done and what he could have done instead. Within a few days, Faith returned to where she met Thomas and handed him a large bag, leaving him utterly confused. When he opened the bag, he saw a note that read, What goes around, comes around, and underneath the note was a windfall to the tune of $485,550. A couple of weeks later, Faith saw Thomas in the alley and quickly walked up to him. When he turned to greet her, she saw that he was carrying a big bag of food and a stack of notes. Thomas was here to feed the homeless and give them each a note that read, What goes around, comes around. As author Muni Khan rightly said, Let your love be the kindness to make a homeless person believe that a soul needs something more than just four walls and a ceiling. We couldn't agree more. What is the best way to combat homelessness? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to share this article with your friends.